So I have shorter buggy whips and they come in all sorts of different lengths. I like this when I have a horse that I really need to teach to take me seriously. So what does seriously mean? These are extensions of me, my arms, and then this whip. I'm gonna use it rhythmically. If he's still standing there, and I'll show this to you in a minute, then I'm gonna say one, two, three. So the difference that I find with my students, all of you across the board, you all keep doing a lot of this and a lot of this movement, and it's fractious. You must be clear, this means halt, this means push, push, push. So backing up is very important. And if you need to practice this, then put a towel or tie a bag to a fence or your round pen and see if you can't make a mark there. Repeatedly, get your skill sets. This is very important if you're gonna work with these tools, you must be comfortable with them. And it's really important that your horses, especially more dominant, lazy horses, take you seriously. That's the problem, they don't. I said, now, take me seriously and be done with it. Don't sit there and badger your horse to death because that's called a threat. I want you to give them a warning. You, if you're gonna deal with these types of horses, something has to change within you. And to a point where this horse starts to listen, he'll start to listen to you as a leader. You're not gonna to have to come on strong like this all the time, but you've gotta earn it. Really, for a lot of you, this is gonna take a lot of time to master. I've been doing this for a while. So, if, you are, if you're going to wake your horse up, as I call it, with a little zing like this, so that they pay attention to you and tune into you, you must make contact. But you wanna push your horse to that point where the horse says, oh my gosh, she really means it. So before we even start working with chi energy in the third chakra and starting to teach this horse to respect push, we must be taken seriously. If you're going to be using a shorter whip like this, then you're gonna need something like a round pen where you, you've got space between the poles or the boards. But if you're gonna use a long lunge whip, again, it's just a quick zip. If you review all of the, the DVDs, or uh, not the DVDs, but the video that I've created in the online course, as well as the membership, please review it over and over and over again. Take a few months and go back to it. There is so much depth and subtlety, especially the body language that's in my work. They look at the body language of, of mine and how clear, how firm, and how fair I am. Meaning I have plenty of warning, but dang it, one, two, three, and that's it. Let's go. Take me seriously. All right, so let's go work with Zor. Good boy. And halt. Excellent. Soft he is. Okay. Thank you, buddy. And sweet boy. Now, one, two, three. So he left. Good boy. And I'm going to hug him, the fly fish. Good boy, I'm gonna ask him to back up again. So he's shutting down. I'm gonna ask him to back up again. And he, usually he kicks out, so move him. Now I'm gonna drive him at his hip. And I want to canter, because he has to exert a lot more energy at the canter than the trot. But if you have a horse, which Zor used to be like, and he will not canter, you're gonna have to let him know you mean it and then back off. Let him know you mean it and then back off. When a horse is ready to give you 100% and partner with you, they will create a smaller circle, which means they're ready to join you. So I'm gonna stay here until he basically gives me the white flag and surrenders. So the circle's getting a little smaller. You maintain your energy here. I wanna see him get irritated. It tells me he's starting to take me seriously and he doesn't like it, good. We're starting to have some change. I want respect and respect shows up when a horse gives you two ears forward and two eyes. It's also about trust, but I know he trusts me. So right now we're just talking about respect. So what I don't wanna see you guys do is chase your horse around here. So you can't get frustrated. 
You are his teacher right now. Your job is to carefully guide and shape him as if he's a child and you're a teacher of a young child right now. You must take that, that mental level of consciousness into this work.